Hi everybody, my name is Bree and welcome back to my channel, Bree Zarts. All right, everybody, I'm super excited for today's video because we are jumping into some spring DIY projects. Now, even though there is still some snow on the ground, what better time to do some spring projects to, you know, will that better weather to happen? I can't wait to show you the projects that I've created. And of course I've used things from the Dollar Tree and from Dollarama and a few things, of course, from Amazon as well. And with all of that being said, you guys, let's get into the first DIY. All right, here we go with DIY number one. And so I'm going to start with using these uh, metal wreath rings that I got at the Dollar Tree. There are three sizes. I am going to use the middle size and the large size for this project. And I'm just taking my wire cutters there and just snipping the, uh, there's kind of like a seam in each of those wires. So I just snipped right at that seam and they came apart, no problem. And now you can see that I am taking some wooden beads and just stringing them on to the wreath here. These beads I did get off of Amazon. Um, I'm sorry, you guys, I don't know the measurement for them, uh, but the pack that I got, there were a ton of them. And if you don't wanna use the same size of beads, you can absolutely mix it up, you know, use some bigger beads, some smaller beads, just to give the piece more interest as well. So you can see there, I was just kind of, you know, checking out to see how the beads were lining up. And I did end up removing a few from that smaller one there. And there we go and I just went about halfway around and now I just am taking some floral tape I got it at the Dollar Tree as well if you've never used floral tape before it is quite sticky um, it's really good for attaching these wires back together because hot glue doesn't work and so you just have to kind of pull gently and that will release the glue in the floral tape and you just wrap it and wrap it and wrap it around and then your wreath is secured back on. Now what you can, can do as well if you don't want to see that floral tape is you can like push it into where the beads are and you'll hide it completely. And then I just use the floral tape to attach the two rings together, just like that. Now I didn't mind using the floral tape here only because I am going to be putting like a flower swag at the top, so that's going to cover it completely. And now I'm going to use these beautiful florals that I got at the Dollar Tree and that lamb's ear that I got from my lovely subscriber, Jilly Bean, thank you so much. And I'm just going to dismantle these flower picks. So just, you know, taking off each stem there with my wire cutters, just so that I can make a swag for our wreath here. So you will notice that I do use four of the light pink and four of the darker pink daisies. Um, the end result though, I don't use two of those daisies it just felt a little bit too heavy when i put everything together um, and up on the wall so you'll see that in the final reveal but you can do whatever you want you can put whatever flowers whatever colors um, i just thought that these colors went together so beautifully and they're so springy and lovely and fresh looking i'm so happy to be using some beautiful color so you can see there that I just put, you know, two of the pink, two of the um, the daisies and uh, one of the lambs here all together. And then just using that floral tape, I made two of those and then just using that floral tape around to adhere them together, just like that. <laughs> this is so easy, you guys. Oh my goodness. And it's so pretty. And again, with the floral tape, I'm attaching my swag to my um, my metal wreath forms there. And just like floofing stuff up and arranging and everything else just to make sure that I'm happy with what I'm seeing. Just so my eyes are happy. <laughs> And we're just gonna make a very simple bow. So using some ribbon from the Dollar Tree, I just folded it in three, one piece in three, and then scrunched it together using another piece with some tails. And I'm just 
attaching those together with some jute cord and using this um, gingham ribbon that I got at Michael's doing the same thing so you know folding it into three pieces or sorry folding it into three folds oh my goodness and then scrunching it together taking my tails attaching that in the center and then putting that on the back of my burlap ribbon bow with the same jute cord and there I just clipped off some of the excess of that ribbon there and just you know playing around floofing it up you know it, they're both wired ribbons so you can manipulate them however you want to and then I am just going to clip off some of the tails there just to make it a little bit shorter and I'm just cutting it on an angle at the bottom you can do dovetails as well if you want to at the bottom of that bow and you'll see here, okay, so just tying that with the jute cord, the same jute cord that I used to attach the bows together. And then I'm just creating a quick loop to hang this up and rock and roll, there we go. So let me know you guys what you think of this really simple spring wreath. And jumping right in to DIY number two. And so I'm just going to use these wood pieces that I got at Home Depot. I got them in a huge bundle. Um, they're about one and a half inches by like, I don't know, four feet maybe. And I got a whole bunch of them. So I cut one nine inches and I cut one 15 inches. And then I'm using this little wood plaque from the Dollar Tree and this box that I got at Dollarama. Now, if you don't have a Dollarama, I'm sure you can find a similar box at Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby, but here we go. We're going to use the wood tint <laughs> and shablam. <laughs> I stained all of these pieces up, front, back, sides, like the whole thing with that wood tint. When you're using that wood tint, and that is by Folk Art in the color Walnut, um, make sure you use gloves because they stain. So here I'm just marking off. I'm going to have that plaque hang from that nine inch piece of wood. So I'm just lining up because I'm going to put some eye hooks into each of those pieces of wood. So just making sure everything is lined up so that when I hang the sign from the eye hooks, you know, it looks nice and straight. That's why you need a measuring mat, you guys. Get a measuring mat. They're, they're oh so many uses for it it saves it saves my day <laughs> and here you can see I am just screwing these eye hooks into the top of that um, the wood plaque there and I will do two of them and then um, you can see there and it, it's easier if you drill a hole first. Um, I just use like a pin and just start up kind of like a pilot hole and then screw those eye hooks in. And so you can see there, just using my measuring mat again, lining everything up, making sure it's good. And then I opened up the eye hooks on the top there and I am just uh, threading it through and then using my pliers to close them back up again. And I, uh, cut this stencil out on my Cricut. I do use the um, Oracle stencil vinyl. You can get it on Amazon. I'll try to remember to link it down below. Um, I use it all the time. And I got the image from Cricut Design Space. Like it's directly out of Cricut Design Space. Um, I did not create it. So just so you know. And I'm just using my Debbie brush and some of my white chalk paint by folk art and just you know filling in that stencil it does not have to be perfect I like it to look just a little bit you know rough and rustic and then just weeding that out it comes off no problem 
I think that this uh, this stencil is so pretty. It has these really small details, like little tulips kind of in it. It's just, oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. All right, so now I am going to take my 15 inch um, piece of wood there using some hot glue. You can use wood glue as well. Um, I figured that the hot glue was good enough. I don't handle my decor a lot, so I just don't feel it necessary to use a whole bunch of wood glue and whatnot. I hot glued that down, and then I am using just a few little finishing nails just to secure it a little bit more onto the back of this piece here. It's nice and sturdy with those nails in there. And the wood is thick enough that the nails were a perfect size. So there we go. And then I am going to take my um, nine inch piece here with the sign, go across, it's about, what is that, about an inch and a half down from the top using some hot glue and just adhering that to the to the stick there, just like that. So just grabbing some floral foam, sticking that right into the box there. And what I'm going to do, I didn't film it, you guys know how to arrange flowers. I used some more of that lamb's ear and I'm using these thistles, I think they are, from the Dollar Tree. Like look at the colors, I can't, I cannot get over how beautiful these colors are. So again, I am just, you know, taking off the picks. They're all different lengths and whatnot, which is perfect. And I'm just going to, you know, place all of those thistles where I think, you know, they should go. <laughs> and the colors are so pretty together. Oh, I just absolutely love this. I'm sure you can hear the bird in the background. She's being very noisy this morning. <laughs> And you can see there too that I'm using this uh, different color. These thistles came in a few colors, like there was white, there were a couple of colors of blue and these pinks. And I just think that is absolutely gorgeous. everybody I really hope that you are enjoying today's video and I just wanted to pop in here really quickly to say that if you like home decor on a budget stuff that looks pretty high-end like you bought it in a fancy schmancy store but you made it yourself and you got all of the items at the dollar store then you have come to the right place so make sure that you tap that like button, make sure you subscribe, and make sure that your notification bell is set to all so that you don't miss any of my uploads. And as per usual, I'm gonna give my shout out to all of my breezers out there, all of my old subscribers, my new subscribers, and there are a lot of you, and everybody in between. Thank you so much for like hanging out with me and, you know, supporting my channel and, you know, doing the things like tapping likes and subscribes and sharing and everything else because that really helps me out here on YouTube. And I absolutely, Mwah. love you guys so much and with that little spiel out of the way let's get back into those projects and here we go you guys DIY number three all right so I got this craft twine uh, from Dollarama and it's like a almost a silky texture it's definitely not jute and it's not yarn um, they have a whole bunch of different colors as well at Dollarama. Um, I obviously chose to use the pink and I'm using these embroidery hoops that I also got from Dollarama. And I'm just going to start here by hot gluing the end to the inside embroidery hoop and we're just gonna wrap this, wrap and wrap and wrap and then kind of scrunch everything together so it's nice and straight. 
and just wrap and wrap and wrap. This crafter's twine actually would be really nice um, to do the nail art that I've done. Um, I will try to remember to link one of my nail art uh, or like string art videos um, up in the cards there. I love doing this string art and this is just so pretty. So just again, wrapping and wrapping and wrapping, make sure it's nice and scrunched together. And then every so often just using a little bit of hot glue just to adhere it to make sure that it isn't gonna go anywhere. See, and there we go, hot glue and putting that all together. And now I'm just changing the angle. So I went around, I don't even know how many times, you guys, just like look at the thickness there. And then I'm just going on an angle from the same, you can see I'm continuing on the one side and then I'm going like further out on the other and I'm just going to fill all of that in so that it meets, if that makes sense. So continuing to wrap on this angle using hot glue every now and then. And see, there we go. And I filled that all in. Now, what I am doing here is I wanted to create just a little bit of a space um, between the last like thing that I went all the way around. Oh, this is gonna be hard to explain. You can see what I'm doing. So I'm just making a mess, obviously, but I'm just wrapping the um, the crafters twine just around the wood of the hoop and completing that and just getting everything all tangled and <laughs> what I should have done is I should have cut it and then just wrapped it around like a shorter piece around and around because you can always glue another piece right but I was like nope I just want to continue on using the same piece all the way around um, don't do that okay it makes it a lot harder so <laughs> oh my goodness oh girl get it together so here I am now going um, like the one is horizontal like the first one that I did is horizontal and now I'm going vertically up and down this um, this embroidery hoop and you can kind of see like when I was doing the um, original pieces that I made the the embroidery hoop into kind of an oval shape because I pulled it so tight so just be conscious of that I guess like if you don't want it to be necessarily oval shaped um, just release a little bit of the tension and you can keep it circular um, I wasn't gonna go back and take the whole thing off but I didn't mind that it was oval it was totally fine so here you can see I learned my lesson and I clipped off a piece <laughs> and I'm just wrapping that around and around the uh, the rest of the hoop there. Round and around, round and around until we come to the very end and that's essentially like where we started, right? So place that on there, hot glue, and that will all be hidden anyways by the other hoop, right? So there we go, oh, look at it. And so I struggled a little bit to get that on there only because it was oval instead of being circular, but it went on no problem. I tightened up the screw and now I'm using some of these baby's breath from the Dollar Tree. And I just kind of thread it through, you know, like, you know, weave it through so that it's nice and sturdy behind there and then just clip off the excess so that the stems don't poke out on the bottom. And now using these butterflies, like these wooden butterflies, I got the, the solid ones from Dollarama. And then you can see there, I got a really beautiful, um, oh, first off, <laughs> we're going to paint that up with our wood tint, our walnut wood tint. And then I got that beautiful laser cut um, butterfly, and that is from the Dollar Tree. And I just am going to adhere the laser cut onto that solid butterfly just to give it some dimension and to make it kind of pop, right? And I'm just hot gluing those together. Just a dab of hot glue is good enough, just so it doesn't seep through all of those um, holes and whatnot in the laser cut. And then a little bit of hot glue and I just glued it right onto the threads. 
and a couple of teeny little flowers to finish it off and look at this it's so beautiful i love this so much last one for today DIY number four all right so this little styrofoam bird I got at Dollarama um, I'm sure you could find this at any craft store there's a whole bunch of styrofoam stuff and I'm using a candle holder um, as well for this project from Dollar Tree so I am just taking some of my white chalk paint we are going to do the baking soda trick so mixing up some paint with the baking soda just to give it some texture now i did have to go in put paint in put baking soda in put a little bit of water in just to thin it down yada yada until i got the consistency that i wanted for my little bird here so when you're doing this technique um you kind of have to scoop the um the paint on you can see there just take a scoop spread it around don't worry if it flakes off and whatnot i do two coats of this paint mixture on this bird and it turns out so beautifully and i am going to do the exact same thing with this candlestick from the dollar tree so just using that paint again um, going around giving it you know a really rough coat to begin with just to make sure that everything sticks and then i did two or three coats on that um, because it was glass obviously and it didn't you know adhere as well as i would have wanted to what i should have done is just run my sandpaper over top of it but i was being lazy <laughs> It still worked out, it's totally fine. So just taking some hot glue, I am going to go around the top there and we're just going to adhere this little bird onto the top of this candlestick. Just like that, easy peasy. There we go nice and adhered and you can see that there is a seam there between the bird and the glass so I'm just taking my paint mixture again and going around that little seam just to um, cover it up and it looks like one seamless piece of really of like ceramic or concrete or whatever you want to call it like it looks amazing and then taking those beautiful flowers from the Dollar Tree again, I just used one pick. I pulled it right off of the stem and I am just going to hot glue that right to the base of my bird, just like that. Get some glue on my fingers. <laughs> no, I'm not using a finger protector. I should have, but I didn't. <laughs> And then this little wicker heart that I got at Dollarama, I'm just going to grab some twine and we're just going to thread that through. There's a hole, like a wire hanger kind of thing at the top, thread that through. And then I am just going to wrap that around the base of this, of the candlestick, like where the bird and the candlestick meet, just like that. And I do just like hot glue that into place and then cut off the, uh, the excess, just like that. And I'm just going to grab my scissors, clip off those tails, and that is it for this project, you guys. I think that that looks straight out of a high-end store. Let me know what you think, it's so pretty. you guys that is it for today's video and let me tell you look at that vignette 
is that not gorgeous? Like so springy, so elegant, so high end looking. Like I can't even, I can't even. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much for watching you guys and make sure you tell me down in the comments which one of these is your favorite. I would also love to know what colors you are inspired by this spring. I'm kind of digging the pink and the green together, but you know, I switch it up all the time. And of course you guys, if you like what you see, do me a solid tap that like button, maybe subscribe, tell your friends, you know, all of that jazz. Stay tuned for the gag reel. Bye guys. So I did it. I did it. I chopped it. It's been chopped. And now we're going to start fresh with some, you know, fresh, undamaged hair. Got some color back in there. It is time. It is time. And I am loving it. It feels so much thicker. Like, look at this. Oh, it was just dead stuff weighing it down, you guys. Dead stuff weighing it down, hopefully. <laughs> um, I'll keep you posted. <laughs> so hopefully this sound, I know that the sound in my last video was awful. So hopefully this will be better. I used my old crappy phone last time to film, so now I'm just using my regular phone and, you know, <laughs> hopefully it's a lot better this time, you know what I'm saying? Because I'll tell you, when I'm editing, and I hear that it just sounds crappy. It just makes me crazy. Ooh, look at this. Oh, I broke out. That is awful. Yikes. Stress. It's all stress, you guys. I'm stressed out. Busy. I do have a day job. And uh, things are... Things are stressful at the old day job. Henceforth, ta -da! awful. I'm too old for this. I'm too old for it. I, oh, I, 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 I. <laughs> okay. Look at that. Look at that makeup today. I watched a YouTube tutorial. <laughs> University of YouTube. Nothing better. Nothing better than that. I'm very indecisive. You can see we got the fringe going on again, but, um, you know, I'll, I'll change it up every now and then. I want to, I want to grow it out. If it would grow. I've said before, my hair is 100% gray, 100% like white, like Betty White white. <laughs> I'm too young for that. I'm too old for this and too young for this. <laughs> Where's the in between? Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Focus. And of course, I have used this the, the stuff. I use I use stuff. You'll see. You saw the stuff, all the stuff that I used. <laughs> okay, I think we're done. Good to go, good to go, good to go.